This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. One of the great ones ever. And it's hard to imagine as, as into it as they are just a few months after this, he's going to realize, wait a minute, I'm out of the world title picture. I'm working with Lex for the U S I'm fucking out. Great Good American lengthy. bash. He's done son. It's crazy mm-hmm. to think that that was not that, not that much later than this. I think that was July and this is like April. So boom, it's over. He's done. Whoa. Amazing. Let's, let's, uh, let's go to Jim Ross here. Let's track it. But here is his comments from his office in Charlotte. As attorney for Ric Flair, I demand that World Championship Wrestling arrange within 30 days a rematch between my client Ric Flair and the present NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I have thoroughly reviewed the videotapes of the match between Mr. Flair and Steamboat wrestled in New Orleans April the 2nd, and it is clear that Mr. Flair was not pinned by Steamboat inasmuch as Mr. Flair had his foot under the ropes when the referee counted Mr. Flair as having been pinned. According to the rules of the National Wrestling Alliance, under whose auspices that match was wrestled, if, and I quote, a portion of a wrestling participant's body is through or under the ropes, the referee shall separate the wrestlers and cause them to return to a neutral position, end quote. The referee provided by World Championship Wrestling was clearly out of position and obviously failed to see my client's foot under and on the outside of the ring ropes. Had the referee done his job, my client would have had the opportunity to return to a neutral position and would not have been pinned. If World Championship Wrestling and Ted Turner do not arrange for a title match for Mr. Flair, with Ricky Steamboat within 30 days, I am filing a lawsuit against Jim Hurd as Executive Vice President of World Championship Wrestling, against Ted Turner as the owner of World Championship Wrestling, against the National Wrestling Alliance, and against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I will ask the court to have the NWA World Championship title vacated. I will also ask the court for substantial money damages to be awarded against both Mr. Ted Turner and the World Championship Wrestling Organization. Finally, Mr. Flair demands that assuming that World Championship Wrestling grants his wishes and schedules a rematch, that representatives of the NWA be at ringside to witness the match. Also, Mr. Flair demands that a second referee be stationed outside of the ring and empowered to overrule the ring referee in the event that the ring referee makes a wrong decision or a wrong call. Well, ladies and gentlemen, dude, could we have not gotten a fucking actor to play the attorney? That is the most uncomfortable reading of a statement. It read like a fucking hostage statement. That was three minutes of horrible TV that you would never get back once you watched it. Oh, Lordy. I mean, it would have been better if Jr. would have read it. Of course it would have. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hindsight is 2020. When I saw Dennis Guthrie, I thought just maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Just maybe Wendy had sent him out for an injunction to keep Andrade out of the family because he understood that Andrade's dick is bigger than Ric Flair's. Just thought maybe. I don't know that that's true. Don't know if it's true or not, but then there's blue chew. Why are you, that, I don't know. That's a weird pivot to talk about Andrade's penis here on the show. Well, I just thought, you know, legal lawyer, you know, looking for are we going to try to get hashtag Andrade penis trending? <laughs> you know, if we're going to do it, you might as well do it. No, I don't want to do that. I'm that's just a joke. That's a joke. I'm, I'm telling jokes. I'm trying to be irreverent. All okay. Right. All right, I'm with you. Let's just, let's go down the rabbit hole for a minute. Okay. We know Andrade is under contract to WWE. But yeah. I have it on good authority. His penis might be a free agent. Whoa. So do you think we could, what's he doing at Daly's place in Jacksonville? I want to see it. Orange Cassidy versus Andrade's penis. Yikes. What do you think? Look, ma, no hands. 
either side. You think, uh, orange Cassidy would put Andrade's penis in his pockets. <laughs> he well, could hashtag penis pockets. Yeah. You know, orange Cassidy as a, as a shoot one of my favorite guys. He's I mean, one, I mean, just one of the nicest guys in wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing like him. I mean, I just, we have some great conversations and, and he gets it. Yeah, he does. There's so many, I think there's people miss on some of the old timers sort of misunderstand the character, but dude, then when they seem work, they go, fuck that guy can do some stuff, man. Yes, he can. Yeah. And by the way, he was a badass wrestler before this gimmick. It's not like, sure. you know, he first broke into wrestling as orange Cassidy. He's been working at this for a while to develop his persona and fucking man. It's, it's so hard to be unique and to stand out and to be different and in wrestling, everything's been done, right? That's what we always say. Everything's been done, but he's got something unique. You got to do something different, man. And, and I wish Jack victory would do something. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.